for EVA 40, as was mentioned, Shane is going to be EV1 and Tomas is going to be EV2. Um, they are going to be swapping roles coming out the door, so to give Tomas some experience of opening up that hatch. Um, it's, and the crew members are going to be separated throughout the entire EVA, so first we'll go through what uh, Shane is going to be doing. Um, his first task, he's going to be heading over to, to S0, where he's going to be changing out that computer processor that um, uh, Emily was mentioning. So there's currently not anything wrong with that processor. We are just going to be upgrading it um, and, and making it more enhanced. Um, so you see here, he's going to be uh, changing out that box and, and installing the new one. Uh, technical terms for that, we call it the, the EPIC um, MDM. And so once he installs that box into the slot, he does have some a cable to connect up to that that's going to give it that, that Ethernet connection, which is that enhanced capability. Once he's complete with that, he heads on over to PMA3, where he is going to be disconnecting um, certain umbilicals to allow that vehicle or that uh, module to be relocated in between EVA 40 and 41. So there are four different uh, disconnects that he needs to do. Once it's disconnected, he's going to go ahead and uh, make sure that they're out of the way uh, and, and tie those down for this segment to be relocated. After that, he's going to head on out to the, the Japanese module where he has uh, the two cameras that he's going to be changing out. Um, as Emily mentioned, uh, the cameras do have some lights turned down on them. And in order to change those, you need to just change out the box and change out the light bulb inside. So the first one is on the, the Japanese robotic arm. So he's going to change that one out first. And then you'll see him, um, he's going to translate on the nader side of this pallet to head on over to the, the work site of the other camera, which is going to be on the forward side of this pallet, and, and change out that one. Um, it, it's great. He's got a big bag where he can put both of those cameras in, so we, we save a lot of time by not needing to go back and forth to the airlock to, to get each particular camera. So once he's complete with, with this camera R&R, &R, um, that is... The, that's all of his plan tasks that he has for the EVA. We hope to do have some time for some get-aheads, uh, but we'll assess that the day of. Then moving on to what Tama is going to be doing. First, he heads on out to ESP2, where he's going to be grabbing a foot restraint, um, and also he's going to be grabbing an extender for that foot restraint. Both of the tasks that he's doing do require a little bit more reach um, in, in that foot restraint. So he's going to take both of those pieces over to P1, where he is going to be um, inspecting the ammonia leak that Emily had mentioned. So um, there, if this is a, an RBVM, a radiator valve beam module, um, and the, it's in the flow path of the ammonia of the cooling system. And so he's just going to be checking that hardware out, seeing if there's, if there's any um, indication of leaks. This is a close-up of that hardware. So he's going to be checking these flex hoses. We also have fluid quick disconnects as well as uh, rigid systems lines, um, all that, again, he, we just need the human eyes on it to see if there's any indication of a leak, and it would be the ammonia coming out of there. Once he's complete with that inspection, he heads on out to S0, where he's going to be lubricating the um, robotic manipulator, the SPDM. Um, it's a SPDM Lee. We have lubricated um, other parts of the, the space station robotic arm on previous EVAs, and uh, this robotic manipulator has been showing similar signs of degradation. So what we're going to do is we have a specialized tool for it. Um, it's called the BLT, um, not a bacon, lettuce, and tomato. It's a ball screw lubrication tool. Um, so what you do is you, you're going to be applying grease to this cradle. So you're going to be inserting it into the cavity here. There's a, there's a ball screw that we need to get the grease on. And then each of these four latches also have a, a similar ball screw that you need this tool to insert to, to access those ball screws. Uh, the last part of the lubrication, there's some tracks on each of the latches here that also need to get grease applied to them. Uh, that we're just going to be using um, a standard grease gun, which kind of looks more like a caulking gun, uh, off-the-shelf caulking gun that's got grease in it. This is just showing the grease uh, being applied to the cradle of this tool. This is uh, going inside one of the latches. This is what that ball screw looks like inside the latch with the grease applied to it. And so once, once he's complete with that, the lubrication, um, he's done with his planned task. And uh, both crew members would be heading back to the airlock. Again, if we've got time um, for other activities, we've got some time at the end of the EVA, we'll assess that day of for any get ahead activities. Subscribe for more space. space.